that it's so funny because I've heard about it for, you know, a little while now, but I never really wanted to try it. So I was always like, oh, what does it do? Is it, you know, like, how do you find the right one? So I was really excited to learn about yours because I yeah. feel like it encompasses like everything that I'm like open, like the organic and that it doesn't have like all these other ingredients in it and all of that. So. Totally. I was the same way. I, you know, before I got introduced to bone broth by my sister, I was like, that's di-. when she was just say the word bone broth. I'm like, that's disgusting. <laughs> like just like the name and then cut to like when I was really dedicated to changing my lifestyle around, she's like, come on, Melissa, bone broth does everything. I promise you just try it. And I tried it and I was like, wait, this doesn't match the name. No. And it, Yeah. And then from there, I got greedy. <laughs> I wanted it to be better tasting. I wanted it to be richer. Um, and, you know, something I love about our product is it's not gamey where some of the competitors out there are. Yes. And honestly, there was, I've tried like one or two other ones, you know, over the last few months or so. And that was my biggest issue is that I, I can't deal with that. Like I, I eat meat, I'm fine with it, but I just, the gaminess of any of them is what, I, that and the saltiness. Yes. I feel like those two things are always a, a problem with it. And yours is not, like, I actually had to look at the back to see what the salt was. Cause I was like, there's like, this is so good. I know, and it, some, there's no salt added. No. Um, so there's no salt added, it's organic, it's gluten-free. Um, and I want uh, to me, that was important too, with salt because sodium is so bad for people. Like my ex's mom, like I swear, like diet from too much sodium. No, I believe it. And I, I feel like a lot of people don't pay attention to that because when you're buying stuff, you know, especially any, even anything that's like packaged, you just don't look at the salt content. And that's probably one of the worst things that you can have in your body. Absolutely. Um, so I was really happy when I saw that. I'm like, okay, like literally every single thing checked off. <laughs> I was like, all organic. I could read all the ingredients, like not even um, like no gums, none of, none of that stuff. Cause that's like in a lot of things too. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Cause you know, my sister has been a huge influence on me, obviously. Hence, <laughs> um, But she, you know, when she's like teaching me how to eat, right. So a lot of people, including myself do not know or did not know and she's like, Melissa, if you read something in the ingredients and you don't understand it, that's that's no good. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And there's a lot, like that happens often. Um, do you, what, so, I mean, I know a little bit just from the last time, but what was like the first reason that got you started? Was it the whole gut? Was it part of the gut thing or? So yeah, something I, I love to say, and which is true, is I almost got held back in, um, middle school because I'm sorry actually it was high school sorry because I missed so much school I was in and out of the hospital constantly and they were trying to figure out what was wrong with me and then finally after many months like a doctor figured it out and he's like Melissa it's just your digestion like your your, your gut is inflamed and it was as simple as that meanwhile people are like going like deeper trying to find something that doesn't exist yeah um so it started there and then once I realized that was that I continued just you know I was young I didn't care yeah um and then cut to in my 20s it just started catching up with me and I started having brain fog and feeling unwell and it was more than just my appearance at that point I just it just didn't feel good and it started to matter to me so then that's when you know the word bone brought that initially was disgusting yeah. when my sister was like just try it I'm in New York and what I loved about New York is there's so many places to get it and grab it and go and then in LA which I consider the center of health and wellness yeah there wasn't anything like that and I was like hold on a minute like this thing's a a miracle and b right. you know in New York, I consider it more, I mean, New York's healthy. Don't get me wrong, but no, I, but definitely I would think California, I mean like LA way more than New York. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So that's where the idea came from. So I loved the convenience of grabbing it hot on the go. I'm like a very habitual person. I grab my coffee in the morning, then my bone broth. Um, so now what we have is a product where I emulated that model in New York, but to all 50 States and Canada. Um, it, in the concentrated form, it's eight times stronger 
and it's shelf stable. So you bring this with the rice husk cup, sip cup that comes in the bigger boxes and you just take it on the go. You pour the concentrate in the cup, add hot water. The cup is also microwave safe mm -hmm. um, or obviously you could do it from a kettle. And then even when water's in it, it's still two times stronger. So oh, wow. yeah, so anytime I'm at a workout class and even a lot of like the workout classes, at least in California are outdoors right now. And it gets mm -hmm. a little chilly in the morning. I'm like, everyone should be drinking the water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's, uh, it's funny because I thought I was gonna ask you about like the concentrate and you know, the difference, I guess, between just like regular broth that's made and then having it as a concentrate. So it is strong. It, I guess you yeah know. so what what I love to tell people is it's literally exactly the same in fact you know I could say with confidence and any competitor out there um, that has a non-shelf stable bone broth I could guarantee in their supply chain at, at some point it's in concentrated form mm -hmm. and then someone puts the water back in it and that's um kind of how I discovered this model uh, where I was like hold on a minute you know this is more customizable this way to people's tastes if the water was taken out of it anyways right and then it makes it so much stronger so you're not paying to ship water around the world mm -hmm. like the customer is not paying for water and the customer has the ultimate choice and preference right. so it's exactly the same except you're paying for just the good yeah. stuff yeah I mean I get you can tell just from what's because it's not like you had to add any other ingredients in it to keep it yeah. like shelf stable or anything which is really nice yes there's no preservatives at all i mean yeah <laughs> Trust me. i i i um i love it i that's love like it very it's impressive honestly <laughs> it is. thank you um, i always said you know if i'm gonna you know do something like this i have no background in food i have no background yeah. in supply chains i learned all of this people are like how'd you learn i'm like google yeah and just putting you know talking to people and putting it out there. But if, if I was gonna make a company, you know, and divert from what I was doing, acting and modeling, you better believe it's gonna be the best <laughs> in its category. Was it a hard process, like from like the concept and then like figuring everything out business wise? You have no idea. I can't, I know, I, <laughs> especially in food, because it's something like you're ingesting, you're, you're giving to people to literally put in their oh, body. Yeah which is terrifying. And on it, top of it, USDA organic, on yeah. top of it, a supply chain. Yeah. And before we came to this model, that would be my thinking. I mean, if I, you know, like that would be in my initial thinking is that, okay, I have to figure out how I'm going to make this myself and package totally. it. And the development of the recipes, it's been, it's been a journey, but yeah. honestly a very fun and, you know, all my competitors focus on all the benefits of bone broth. Cause there's so many, um, and you could really just go crazy down different rabbit holes because there is so many and something that it's near and dear to my heart is beauty coming from an acting and modeling background and trying every freaking laser, every face cream, Botox. <laughs> <laughs> literally. No, like literally. <laughs> uh, but do you feel, so do you think, I guess out of it, I know I was reading through all the benefits actually on your site and I, there's so many. Yes. And I think the gut is where it all starts, even for beauty. I think that's where it starts. Yes. Um, yes. But then, then you lead into like collagen and that stuff. And that's like, right now it's, it's, that's an, another thing, another supplement that people could take, but this seems like a more natural way, I think, to get that same type of supplement. Absolutely. You could spend all the money on all the face creams and lasers in the world. If you have a poor diet, you see it directly on your face. And you're right. It's kind of like the two dimensional thing for beauty because it heals your gut. And if you have a poor gut, it does show on your face and you right. will have awful skin. And then on top of it, lining your gut, you're getting boosted with all this naturally occurring collagen. And I like to emphasize natural because I know collagen powders are a big thing right now, but collagen powders are made in a laboratory. And I think that, you know, I think the consumers are getting smarter and smarter and really caring about what they're putting in their bodies. And I think that the days of powders is gonna be more natural and the molecules in bone broth 
um, the collagen molecules are smaller than those in face cream. So your body. That's so important more. because that's something that I, I learned about collagen and um, actually I was talking to a doctor about it and he was saying that no one, not many people realize that if the molecules are too big, your body won't even, won't even absorb them yeah. and they'll just go right through you. So it's basically like the powders and a lot of that stuff that people think that they're getting the collagen from, they're barely getting any. Totally. Yeah. No, and, and that's a hundred percent true. Um, so this is smaller molecules. Molecules. Yes. And broken down, um, through the slow cook process, okay. um, slowly extracted, um, from the bones of choice. Mm. See, that's and so, I'm, that's major. That's like huge. Totally. I, that's how you get the, that's how you get the collagen. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm and your and your aha moments because that's exactly how I felt throughout this process and I love seeing that when people start to find out and yeah. I'm excited for everyone to eventually find out. Well, because those things connect and it's like so I learn like you know hear and learn about a lot of these things, but there's not always answers or you don't always have like you know someone may say a doctor might say, Hey, like that collagen powder doesn't work. The molecules are too big and go into the whole science. Girl here. When I went on birth. I, you know, developed really bad rosacea yeah. and it's because of all the hormones in it. Obviously I got off of it. I couldn't get rid of the rosacea. And I was like the bane of my existence. I was like so sad with my little cheeks. Yeah. Um, and so then I, I complete, and when I realized I was having soy milk in my coffee every day, and the second I cut out the soy milk and, you know, was just hardcore, you know, 20 days just on bone broth and, and juice and committed to healing my gut, the freaking rosacea went away that I suffered with. I, I, I like, couldn't believe it. Yeah. The birth control got it there, kept it there and even after it. And then I had to heal my gut and just cut everything out to get rid of it. Yeah. And it's like, as hard as it is, like, and the biggest struggle to go through, it's like, find, you found the most natural way to solve it without having to like, spend years on other medications or putting stuff on your skin, which like destroys you in other ways, you know, oh, it's totally. terrible. I just um, your wallet. You're yeah, spending that too. <laughs> all this money on things that just aren't going to work. Yeah, from within. exactly. And then if you need to, then you can get all the little touch-ups. Like, that's what I always say. I'm like, if sure. you start inside, then you can do all the, you know, lasers and all that stuff. Cause everybody needs a little something, but totally. yeah, absolutely. I I'll still do. I am. Um, I, I love lasers. I haven't done it in a while now. I'm like, yeah. I want to do it. Um, and you know, I'll get Botox maybe once a year, but I swear I, when I would get Botox, it was like a timer went off. Like, Oh my God, I need an appointment tomorrow. Yeah. I could see, you know, I've like little, it cute. like all like goes away quick. Yeah. 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 From drinking bone broth, the timer has gone away for me. That's like awesome. it's literally gone away that, that I can't tell. It, it used to be like clockwork yeah. and now it's like, Oh, maybe I'll get it. Oh, I don't really need it. And, and it's totally helped in addition to it just help with my I was a smiley kid so I yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> like the eyes and the I know yep, totally uh, I'm like I you like should, I kept wanting to know about bone broth and like this brought it into my life in a completely different way um and now I'm like excited I actually made a, made a cup of it because I was like let me try it it just came in I love the taste of it I I think it's amazing and now I think it's something that I'm going to like add into every single part of my day I love so, it. That's exactly yeah. what I do I I have I have a, a cup of it in the morning like I'm, I don't, I'm the ultimate consumer like I just love beverages yeah, I'm, I'm the same way <laughs> like, like I need my juice my, my coffee my bone broth every morning <laughs> that's me I usually have like three or four cups like near my desk I'm like this is not normal <laughs> I'm like I don't I'm I'm my best I'm like the, the I'm like I'm the ultimate customer I just <laughs> want all the drinks just add it in add another one totally. this is actually convenient so that's what's nice is like you can bring this anywhere on vacation and it's like you don't have to worry three ounces you can bring it on the plane with you I know. <laughs> yeah. I can ask them for hot water and by the way I've done that that like, is such this, a good point it's a game changer oh my you God. know people use flights to be unhealthy or they just are so hungry and angry because there's nothing on the plane yeah 
you destroy your place always has hot water no matter where you're sitting you could get hot water yeah and then there's your you, like improve your beauty routine just like taking right? a hot water. Water. Yeah. and a plane dehydrates you yes and, and you get really hangry on it because there's no food you do especially now i know food's <laughs> really you know bad. terrible yeah, yeah. This is, this is a good like nu nutrient way to get all of that. Plus like get a little beauty in your life too. So absolutely. <laughs> this is so I'm awesome. Breaking the bone broth. No I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time and doing this. I think. Oh, is no, I'm, it was a pleasure. Like I was so excited when I met you at I, the event. Me uh, too. Oh. I was too. I'm like, this is so, it's nice to like see someone and connect with the person who actually created it and not. I hate to say like not be super business but like i feel like sometimes things are so corporate like constructed yeah and, like, you know like a program and you're like okay whatever and it just felt real like i felt you can feel like the realness and like the energy the good energy behind it so well, thank you yeah yeah it was